In this video, we're going to begin by looking at how to solve for certain variables using inspection. It's very tempting when you're working on a circuit to jump directly into trying to set up your system of equations. In the circuit I'm about to draw, we'll see that although we certainly could do that, we'll end up with quite a few more variables than we're going to need. Some of them go away simply by inspection. Others require slightly more complex methods of reducing. However, if we follow these steps, then we'll reduce the number of unknowns in our equations and actually end up reducing the number of equations, making things a lot easier to solve. For this entire video series, I'm going to be using the following circuit. You may want to draw it so that you can have it as a reference. So, we have six resistors, two sources, and these sources are of different types. We have a current source and a voltage source. The variables that we want, remember, we're going to solve the circuit, which means we want all unknown currents and voltages. Like I said, what we're going to do is really just look through all of the resistors. The reason for that is because the resistors are typically the things that we're very interested in. There are loads, the actual devices. The other reason is once we know for the resistors what all the currents and voltages are, we can use different laws to find out what the currents and voltages are through the different sources. In this course, for the most part, we only really care about the resistors. So, is there anything that we can solve by inspection? Question number one. Question number two, how do we even talk about the variables that we're trying to solve for? If we did this right, we're going to have six voltages and six currents. Well, normally, in the very beginning of solving a circuit, what I'll do is I'll name my variables by the element they're running through. So for instance, the current through R1 would be given the name R1i, like that. Similarly, the voltages through R6 would be VR6. So, by inspection, is there any variable that we might be able to know? If you said IR1 is 1 amp, you're correct. If you follow the current, from the source into R1, you'll see that it must be the same. Unfortunately, for this particular circuit, there's nothing else by inspection that we can solve for. I don't want to jump ahead too far, but if you looked at this part of the circuit and you said, but hang on, there's a voltage divider going on here, you'd be correct. However, using voltage division would require us to do a computation. If you can jump ahead, that's great. Go ahead. However, my recommendation is that you follow the steps and you use progressively more complex methods of solving for these variables. Inspection has ended here. We can only solve for one thing. However, that's no small feat. We've reduced from 12 possible variables down to 11. The next step is we're going to see that we can use series and parallel connections to further reduce. 